Now, if we're going to improve in this camp, what's the best way for you to improve? The best way. Best way for our players to improve, best players for you to improve. Best way for you to improve is when you make a mistake. Now, I know your parents correct you, and I know most of you probably talk back to your parents when they correct you. I hope I'm wrong about that. I have kids of my own. But there'll be nobody talk back to a coach in this camp. You with me? Because the coaches are here to teach you. Your parents are trying to teach you. We are not criticizing you. We're trying to teach you. We're trying to help you to get better. We're trying to help you have a better opportunity to be successful. So we don't need any explanations. And your attitude should be, coach me, coach. Teach me. Tell me how I can do it better. Because we're going to try to coach you every play. We'll tell you when you did it good. We'll tell you when you did it well. And we'll, you t we'll tell you what you need to do to do it better. And we don't need you to explain why you did what you did. We don't care. You need to listen. Everybody in here has got two ears, is that right? One mouth, is that right? So the way I was taught when I grew up, that means God expects us to listen twice as much as we talk. That's his intention. So we want you to listen and learn. We don't really care what you say. So why say it? Listen, learn, try to do what we're trying to tell you to do so you have a chance to improve. And this leads to my next point, perseverance. Does anybody know what that means? It means you have to stick with things because you have a goal, you have a vision for what you want to do, and as soon as things get difficult, that's not the time to quit. That's the time to focus on the vision that you have, keep a positive attitude about accomplishing it, learn from your failings so that you have a chance to accomplish that and achieve it. That's what it means. Now, there used to be a commercial on TV about 10 years ago, maybe before your time, where Michael Jordan was in a commercial. And he's dressed up like a movie star. And he's riding in a limo to a game. And it says, I've taken 4,692 shots. I might be off on the shots. And missed. I've played in 384 NBA games and lost. And I've taken 26 game-winning shots and missed and then he opens the door to the locker room when he's walking in and he says because I fail is why I succeed Does everybody get it you can't really get better you can't really improve unless you are challenged by your failings so that you have a chance to get better so if you get frustrated by it you're not going to get better we don't want to see any negative body language here. I want you to be positive. Does everybody know what negative body language is? You're affecting somebody else. I'm going to look at you if I see it, and I'm going to say to you, what are you selling? What are you selling? And if you're hangdogging, you got your head down because things are hard and they're difficult and you're tired, We'll say, where you sell them? More importantly, if we're playing a game today, what are you telling the guy you're playing against? What are you telling him? You're getting beat. That's what you're telling him. You're beating me. So why are you playing? Why are you playing if you want to tell the other guy he's getting the best of it? You have to say anything to him. But you got to be positive persevere every negative situation with a positive attitude and energy because you have to overcome adversity to be a good competitor. What do you think makes someone a good competitor?
their ability to overcome adversity. That's what makes them a good competitor. It means when things get difficult, things get tough in the game, they can play their best and deliver their best. That's what our expectation is for you in this camp for what we're going to do. Because we want you to have pride in performance, to be the best you can be at what you choose to do. That's our goal. Now, are you ready to do that? And guess what? It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. We can't make it easy. It's not going to be easy. We recruit all these players that are five-star players and four-star players. They want some assurance that they're going to have success here. And guess what? We can't give it to them. We cannot give it to them. They have to earn it. All see the movie Private Ryan, Saving Private Ryan. Is that something people still watch? Well, let me just tell you guys about it. You ought to watch it sometime. And it's worth watching three hours of it for the last line in the movie that Tom Hanks says. 